Okay, this is how to play All Nightmare Long, part 3. And this is right after the interlude after the second chorus. <laughs> Eventually, it's going to go straight into the soul. And that is D string, tremolo pick, open, and slide to the 12th, 12th fret. Do that three times. And that's a pull off, 12th fret to open, 10th to the 11th, and then 10th, 9th, 8th. And then seventh to the fifth. And then gonna do a trill from the fifth fret to the seventh fret on the D string. And then you're gonna do a chord bar um, on the fifth fret of the G and B string. After you do that four times. That is a series of pull-offs from the 4th fret of the G string to the 2nd fret, open, and then 4th fret of the D string. That, do that pattern, so once, and then twice, fast. Then, if you do that a whole bunch of times, you're going to do an ascending pull-off thing. Kind of like cyanide, but not quite. You're going to do, each pull-off is going to consist of a space with your first finger. For example, we're going to do this on the first fret first. First fret of the B string, and your pinky is going to go on the fourth fret. So there's going to be three uh, frets in between your first finger and the pinky. And you're going to pull off to open each time. And each time you move up a half, a half step. You move up. Keeping that same form. And then you're going to stop right here with the uh, 20 second pull off to the 17th to open. Just do that a bunch of times. So that sounds like this. And then you're going to um, tremolo pick, slide up to the 24th fret. And bend if you don't have it. And then slide. And you can use the tremolo bar there. And that sounds better. And then you're going to do a chord. First finger on the third fret of the B string. And the first finger on the second fret of the G string. And slide up so that your first finger is on the 13th fret of the B string. I mean the 12th fret of the B string. No, 13th, yeah. And then hit it again. And slide up again. And slide to open. Do that once more. And then it goes back into this interlude. So that whole so solo together sounds like this. You're going to do a whole bunch of palm muted open D strings. And then form a power chord on the 5th fret of the A string. You're going to hit that power chord. And then put your pinky down on the 8th fret while still hitting the 5th fret of the A string. And back to the chord. And then put your pinky down on the 8th fret of the A string while still uh, put, hitting that 7th fret of the D string. And then do it again. And then go back to the normal power chord. And put...
how many D strings in between that. And by the way, on the one here, where your pinky is on the 8th fret of the A string, include the D string in the chord. Do it once more. But stop right there. And then you're going to do the same chord as in the beginning of Cyanide. Where you put bar the 7th fret of the A, D, and G strings. And put your uh, ring middle finger on the 8th fret of the D string. Hit it twice. And on the third time, you hammer on with your middle finger. The back of it kind of hits the 8th fret of the G string. And then go back to the normal chord. You can't really hear it that well. And then just do that once. That same chord formation on the seventh fret of the E string. Palm muted. Uh, six times. And do that same hammer on. Go down a half step. That's. And then go down to the second fret of the E string. And then just go back to the beginning. So together and do that whole thing all over again. It sounds like this. Okay, and then after the last time on that. You're just going to hit an open E power chord. And then you're going to go into um, palm muted low E strings. And for four beats, because you're going to hear the singer say one, two, three, four. And then you go to the second fret. And then it goes into the solo. The second solo. And that is open D string. The beginning of the solo is kind of weird. You're going to need your wah pedal. What you're going to do is you're going to hit the open D string, then the G string, then the B string. But as soon as the B strings hit, you're going to lift up with your wah pedal about halfway. And then for this next part, your pedal needs to be a little more than half a So it sounds like that. In fact, it's probably almost all the way back. That there is third fret of the G string, the second for the open, and then second fret of the D string. Do that a bunch of times. Then go to the same pull off, except you're going to hit the third fret of the D string. Do it a bunch of times, and then open G string, fifth fret of G string, fifth fret, and then fifth fret of the D string. And then that exact same pattern, except on the D string and on the A string. And then slide to the second fret of the D string. And do the whole thing all over again except faster. And here you're just going to do a pull off the fifth fret to third fret to open to fifth fret of the D string. And then slide up to the 14th fret of the D string. Trill on the uh, 12th fret of G string to the 14th. And then, uh, then just go up a random scale. And 24th fret. And 